Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It is the best time of the year, Christmas and New Year. Houses are decorated with lights, gifts, and the holiday spread. It's all about fun and festivities. Cakes are part of the fun too. Especially the cranberry bundt cake. Let's start baking. First, we will make sugared cranberries. So, start washing the cranberries. Add sugar and water in a medium sauce pot. Let them boil for about 3 minutes to dissolve the sugar. After boiling, add the cranberries. Stir cranberries about a minute or so. Then remove from the heat. Stir them for another minute. Remove cranberries with a slotted spoon and lay over a wire rack or parchment lined baking sheet. Then dry them out for about an hour. After an hour, roll the sticky cranberries in sugar to coat. Then place them on parchment paper. Once it's done, you can keep them in an airtight container in a fridge to use later. You can use the cranberries to garnish your cakes, eat as a snack or to decorate your dessert. Butter the bond cake pan well. Sift some flour in it, then tap out excess flour and set aside. Add the flour in a sifter. Add baking powder. Add baking soda and salt. Sift them together, then set aside. We will need a buttermilk, but if you don't have it, you can add one tablespoon of lemon juice into a cup of milk, stir it, and let it sit for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we have buttermilk, so you don't have to run to the store. Scrape the orange in a small bowl to make your zest. Squeeze an orange in it and vanilla extract. Stir them and set aside. Now melt the butter in a microwave or on the stove. Then let the butter cool down. Crack the eggs in a mixing bowl. Add the sugar in it. Mix them well with an electric mixer or with hand mixer if you are strong enough until it gets very creamy and fluffy. Add the oil and melted butter. Then pour them in an eggs mixture. Pour the orange juice mix too and mix them again. Add the buttermilk we made earlier and mix with a hand mixer until it's all blended. Add the dry ingredients now and keep stirring until no flower streaks remain. Place the cranberries in a white bowl. If you're using frozen, do not thaw them. Add the flour. Toss the cranberries in the flour to keep them from sinking to the bottom. 
add the cranberries and fold them into the batter with a spatula. Pour the batter in a pan. We greased at the beginning. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 50 to 60 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. After baking, let it cool off for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, loosen up the edges with a plastic knife or spatula. Invert the cake onto a wire rack. Let the cake completely cool off on the rack. Now we will make the frosting. Pour the powdered sugar in a food processor. Add the cream cheese, then butter, and vanilla extract. Let them blend until they turn into a puree. If it's too thick, add milk to loosen up a bit. It depends on how thick or thin you want your frosting. If you have a piping bag, you can use it, or use a Ziploc bag to decorate the cake. Cut the corner of the Ziploc bag, then start decorating the cake. After it's completely cooled off, start decorating your cake. You can either leave it alone, eat as a tea cake, or decorate with frosting however you like. I am not a cake decorating person at all. So, mine won't look too fancy, but I give you a guarantee for taste. After frosting the cake, garnish with cranberries as much as you want. Enjoy your cranberry bond cake with your loved ones. Happy Holidays!